UK7. Uh, this one is now back onto tutorials and the tutorial is on Vista. Okay, what seems a pretty simple task of creating a new partition uh, for some might not be so simple. Uh, I'm kind of going to do this YouTube video because at the moment I'm dual booting Vista and Windows 7 so I can switch between the two operating systems but to do that you needed to know how to create a new partition. Okay, it's pretty a, quite a simple task. Uh, all you need to do is go to start and right click my computer then go on to manage don't know whether you heard that but it's pretty damn windy outside okay on the window that opens you need to go down to disk management which is under storage uh, wait for this to load up okay as you can see here are all the different partitions audio CD is obviously your CD uh, the F drive is a removable memory disk and that's interference from my phone to my computer sorry about that okay uh, Windows 7 this is the partition which Windows 7 is currently installed on and as you can see it's 108.93 gigabytes Vista is 346 gigabytes and then you've got the main system which is 1.46 gigabytes which I can't do anything with Okay, here you can see the 9.28 gigabytes which aren't being used for anything. Okay, so what I could do with that is pretty much whatever I want. I could make it visible so I can do stuff with it, but at the moment I really don't need to. Anyways, to create the new partition, all you need to do is I'll go on Vista, right click it, go down to Shrink Volume, you know, query the shrink space. Just give it a second to do that. Okay, as you can see, I can shrink it by 22,944 megabytes, which I'm not going to do because I don't need to. But what you do, you'd shrink it and you'd shrink it to whatever size you want. Obviously, if you're going to install a new operating system on it, I would personally recommend at least 80 gigabytes, unless it's just going to be for preview purposes only and you're not going to install programs, etc. So, yep. I'm not going to do that, but all you do is click shrink, then it would shrink it and you'd get a new partition. Then you could name the partition whatever you wanted. And then you could then you'd insert your installation C D or setup, whatever it is. And you could then select which partition to install it to. If you don't actually know what you're doing with that, I wouldn't recommend just doing it. You should either Google it or search YouTube for it. Or what I'm going to do later on is upload a new tutorial to show you how to do that. Okay, so thanks for watching and I hope that helped.